All right, there's been talk about the fight between the president, Idim Nangagwa, and General Chwenga. One of them being that the latest minister to being exed. Yeah, I know 
kungo kuti bazire ndere muloka opese na mero mu manager wacho ari kumuranira kungo Minister Pila is a, from the Chiwenga faction. Whilst everyone is speculating and saying there is intense fighting going on between Vice President Chiwenga and Idi Minagaga, I just wanted to remind Zimbabweans that as much as this is some news for all of us, I think maybe we have got a short memory of how we saw what happened leading up to 2017. What led up to 2017 was what we saw being a coup or something, Operation Restore Legacy, some may say it. But the truth of the matter is it did not help the Zimbabweans. It did not change what people were expecting. It did not lead to what people were expecting. Yes, people had expectations, but if they are going to fight within Zanupir, and if anyone is going to stop it, that person is still going to be Zanupir. It's not somebody from the opposition that is going to do that, but that person is going to be within Zanupir, whether from the army is going to stop all that, or it's not going to be stopped at all. So if we celebrate these fights and we raise people of office, I think it's political masturbation because it, we are trying to pin our hopes on something. And I've also seen that there are people who are saying Sadak is doing something, something is going to happen. My people, let's look at what is happening right now in Israel. People are marching left, right, and center everywhere around the world saying free Palestine, free Palestine, free Palestine. But USA, they are sticking to their guns. They are not stopping. Same applies with when people were saying stop uh, going into Ukraine. Russia must stop this nonsense. Russia must stop this and that. But did that stop? So we need to wake up and realize that the situation in Zimbabwe is going to remain as it is. If you want to invest in Zimbabwe, then come and invest. If you want to work, if you want to go out of Zimbabwe, go out of Zimbabwe. If you have pinned your hopes on politicians, I'm telling you, you are going to be frustrated because politicians are going to serve the interest of those that fund them. So any pinning of hope on the current situation or any pinning on hope on Sadak or pinning any hope on Kunetsa Nakushaita, Ijim Nangago and Vice President, it's just not, there is nothing that is going to come. That is the truth. And we need to swallow that bitter truth and move on. And I really think that it's time for Zimbabweans, high time for Zimbabweans to move on.